a very happy Tuesday. Yes, indeed. Today is a very, very special, special day today because your girl, two years ago, landed and took a flight straight to Ghana. So it's my two-year anniversary, guys. So celebrate with me. And I'm wearing purple, my favorite color, because it means royalty. So today, don't call me Ms. Drew, call me Ohima Drew, which means Queen Drew, right? <laughs> Now, if you're tuned in right now, it means that you are ready for me to give you the hot, the amazing, the fresh entertainment and lifestyle news here on MX Breaks. Now, today, I'm back to give you guys live updates on what is going around the world. So, Acrobeto goes international with Fresh Prince of Bel Air, which is also back, and Elon Musk has sent people to space. Yeah, let's get into it. First, starting off with what is happening right here in our vicinity, our very own co-presenter, DJ Viruski, my darling, is here to collect an award. Yes, the award-winning Ghanaian DJ Viruski is set to take home even more awards this year at the Ghana DJ Awards 2020. Listen, I'm so excited that he's been nominated in seven, guys, not one, not two, seven different categories, including overall best DJ of the year and artist DJ of the year with Batawale and Kwame Eugene. So right now, listen to me, Tia, I am here to encourage all of you to vote for him because he truly deserves it. The Ghana DJ Awards 2020 is set to premiere on the 21st of November, so that's next week. So we'll, we'll be, we will be here to see what happens. And I'm counting on you guys. If DJ Baroski wins, we all win. So yes, send in your votes ASAP. Now, Acrobeto has been all over Twitter and this trending. Uh huh. The comedic actor is known for his ability to make every serious situation a funny story. Now recently, a Spanish sports newspaper Marker did an article on his broadcast and it looks like the internet took it by storm. Twitter was quick to compliment Acrobeto that he had finally reached international standards and is in his own way putting Ghana on the map. Yes, we love that. We love it when Ghana is taken out of our homeland and the other people all around the world can see the amazing talent that we have here. Now, also, I want you guys to let me know, what do you think? What do you have to say? All publicity is good publicity, right? Yeah. <laughs> Moving on, Ghanaian content creator Kwedu Sheldon has been on the bad side of Twitter. I mean, he's always got some sort of drama following him. Known for describing himself as the content god, People were glad when he ended up not winning a, the Content Creator of the Year Award at the National Communications Award. Hmm. Rather than congratulate the winner, Twitter users spent the whole day telling him all the reasons why he didn't deserve the award in the first place. Now, it didn't help matters when the actual winner, Teacher Kwedu, came to Sheldon's territory specifically to troll him. Yo, guys, it was a whole messy situation. I don't even want to get into it, but if you're on Twitter, I'm sure if you just hashtag, you'll find it. Moving on to some exciting news, like your girl is excited. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is back. Oh my God. HBO Max is releasing a reunion special. Yes, guys, a reunion special for the beloved American sitcom. 30 years, 30 years after the first episode originally aired, the cast is back together to share hidden truths that fans have never heard before. In a surprising twist, both actresses who played Aunt Viv on the show are also going to be present. Everyone is all grown up and doing various things with their lives, but they have all come back to say a last goodbye to their fans. <laughs> I mean, it's like sad, but happy. I mean, it's bittersweet. But the reunion special will be available on November the 19th. So that's like, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. And I, you already know, I can't wait. So do you know what? Because I'm nice and I love you guys, let's check out the trailer. How crazy is it walking in here? <laughs> 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 
I've always been able to recognize chemistry. Will and Alfonso, from the very beginning, were just playmates. This is my brother Carlton. He knows we can't afford any bigger clothes, so he just doesn't grow. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, just watching that, I'm getting goosebumps. I actually just cannot wait. I mean, if you were like me and you who were watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air when you were growing up, then you know that, yo, this is going to be lit. Just seeing everybody all growing up and hearing their stories, where they are now in life, oh, I can't wait. And of course, Uncle Phil, may his soul rest in peace. We definitely, definitely really do miss him. Now, moving on to some, you know, music. Megan Thee Stallion is dropping her debut album this Friday. Now, the rap superstar is counting down the days by releasing a string of pictures celebrating the occasion. Following her numerous collaborations with Beyonce, Cardi B, and starting the whole hot girl summer trend, the album Good News is already available for pre-order. Now, in addition, Megan is also launching a collection with an online brand, Fashion Nova. You know, I know you see all those ladies wearing those sexy dresses online, uh-huh. Set to release on the same day. So Megan, I mean, seems like she's been very busy. She ain't letting all the gossip and all the rumors get to her. She about that paper, and we like that. <laughs> Moving on to Elon Music, who is finally sending some people to space. Yeah, despite what several people thought, the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla is the first private company to send people into space. Space, y'all, space. After testing positive for the coronavirus, he was unable to attend his own launch, but documented it all on his Twitter. The spacecraft contains four astronauts headed to the International Space Station. Now, this is definitely one for the books. And I love the fact that he was so creative using the internet to still be a part of his own launch. I mean, some of us need to be innovated like that. <laughs> No shade. <laughs> so it seems like you're not the only one who is tired of 2020. I mean, it's been a whirlwind of ups, downs, and everything for everybody. YouTube, on the other hand, has decided to also cancel Rewind. Every year, YouTube releases a mini series which aims to, you know, give a bit of an overview and recap each year, and it goes viral with videos, events, trends, music, everything and anything you need that's been on YouTube. It includes a number of YouTube personalities, and it's basically like a fun way of showcasing how the year has gone. Unfortunately, YouTube has canceled this year's edition. I don't know if that was the right decision to do because Lots of people who have been stuck at home have actually grown more on YouTube. I don't know what YouTube was thinking, but I mean, I'm just a YouTuber like you. So follow me on YouTube, guys, Ms. Drew TV. Till then, guys, that is it for today. Your girl is out. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, today is a celebration. Shout out to Bivet Styling for my outfit and Chriselle Hair and Beauty for my hair. I love you guys. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you tomorrow.